Okay guys, so today I have a few things I want to try out. You know, I recently got in a little surprise. It was this um, auto ship from Crafts Companion about the sentiment stamp set. I can't remember what, if they called sentiment banner or if I'm getting that mixed up with. I feel like it was called sentiment banner, even though it sounds like the Anna Griffin stuff. Um, I guess that's banner day. But um, I want to try it out. Of course, it just comes with sentiments. It did come with card blanks, which is interesting because like there's no you know, there aren't any toppers on this or anything that you would put on top, but it's a very pretty colorway. So I kind of unboxed the other day. Oh, that's interesting. This paper's like covered. If this is available, I'll have it linked in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing time. So those links generally, it takes a little while for auto ships to come in like extra stock on HSN. And also you would need the plate that cut these things initially. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but it does come with these really pretty card blanks. And then uh, coordinating envelopes, which is really nice. They're like colorful and are just white. Um, and then I showed you guys it has a die. Can't remember the words right now. Love you. <laughs> which is nice. I don't know that I'll use those today. It has some baker's twine and satin ribbon. So just some little extras, you know. So you're going to design your card and then you have these pieces. Um, it even comes with cardstock that you would stamp your sentiments on or do whatever you want with actually but um, it's not the thickest cardstock in the world so even for the sentiments it's kind of odd but um, we'll try it out but again same colorway so that's nice and then the sentiment stamps themselves which we will stamp out and then um, all that so let me put this over here let's look at this so it's all about you so it has me and and then you know I don't know sending lots of and kisses hello you more each day of course they go back to like the love you right more each day um, is all that matters is a million things so then the words aren't stuck together the love and the you so you can use them separately so many smiles begin with happy birthday too so very proud of you and all these little marks that you see they once you cut it out with that basic plate that came in the very first um, uh, package they'll be there and it looks really nice um, sent with again we're gonna see how they stamp these are acrylic stamps and it is a big acrylic stamp so acrylic usually wants to repel your ink so we will see how it does right are invited thinking of over here we have especially for make my day think true makes the world go round got this on your special day make a world the world a better place all kinds of stuff all you need is with much you know love on your birthday are my best friend in the world so we have the you like you are you know you are loved or however so we will stamp those in just a minute but to go with that since we have to make a card <laughs> I have this little book of sewing that I picked up not too long ago um, hunky dory stuff and I think I'm gonna use one of these guys today and just to do something different that's not decoupaging even though it's what I'm trending towards um, I think what I'm going to do is use these Moonstone cutting dies to do a little bit of cutting and it'll just be kind of like layered up. So not a lot of layers because again I still don't want the thickness or the height. But I thought these colors went really well with the colors in this kit, right? So let me pick out one of these. I'm thinking something maybe like this if that was it. What we're looking for is... <clears throat> I thought this was a pretty shape to use so I grabbed that. But like if this was our base layer and then we came in and cut other pieces, like where do I want to start cutting? Probably there. And then the next layer? Nah, that's too skinny. Maybe the next one down. Yeah. So if I cut there, it would be like this one, this one, and then maybe this. I'm skipping every other one. And then we'd have like a sentiment or whatever. That might work. Or, you know, we'll see. <laughs> so I'll do the same thing. I, I like that image. I mean, you can do it this way. This one's like a little sewing machine. That's cute. The little bodice one. Or body form. Dress form, I guess is the word I'm looking for. This actually comes with sentiments, which is really nice. But we want to use these guys. So, you know, we'll see. Or we can use both of them, I suppose. Like if I tuck this in there, plus maybe we'll do that. Okay. Oh, that's a cute scene. I don't know. Hmm. Also, do you do this right, like down the center? Is that a better look? Or. Huh, very interesting. Okay, well, let me go through and see. I think maybe I'll use this one as opposed to the one we just looked at. I like the colorway of that one better. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now we'll go back to this one, the one I initially saw. So I'm just going to close that up on there. 
put it to the side. Hopefully, I don't misplace anything while we're waiting to do the actual card base. For right now, what I'm going to do is grab this and. I don't know which one of these goes with what we're doing there. <laughs> so we have thank. That doesn't have a thank you. You make me smile. So again, you're supposed to use the dies with the words. Uh, so probably very proud. Happy birthday to. Okay, I was just reading them over, and honestly, I'm gonna have to use the die and the thing. So we're gonna see how this works out <laughs> with the, whatever I'm trying to do with the card base itself. So uh, let's just make it easy since I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe with the thank. So I'm gonna grab this one, even though these are really fun because I like the way it has like the little other little accents. But let's put this to the side. And you do need a larger like stamping platform. Do you need one like this? Absolutely not. But this is what I have right now because I don't want to. Some other stamping small. platforms are a little bit too small for this, you know. So I think last time I used the Carfers Companion one, I can see there's a little. There's gonna be a bubble there, like. That's weird. Okay, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, it does not have to be this big. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. And let's see. What color do we want to use today? Um, there's lots of pretty colors on that paper. Maybe I'll probably use the, the dye to cut the words out of gold because, you know, I love the look of gold. So any one of these will work. I'm thinking maybe this prettier blush pink. Oh, <laughs> grab some other stuff here. I guess we're going to move all these things over. And this is the other thing. I was going to put in this card base, but we're going to cover a lot of it, so I might end up just making a white card base. We'll see. Um, because those little books, I think they're like four by six or something like that. Let me see. If I put that all the way in there, will this touch all the way? It sure will. And like right there. Very interesting, because what's going to have to happen here is that I'm pushing this all the way to the corner and that's where it's going to be because I can't really put these guys to hold it down because the paper is exactly the same size as this, right? And with my subject matter, I think I'm going to do this in a brown ink so it'll be different, like kind of pink with the brown. And again, I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm just rubbing all over everything. If you rub like this, it's going to have a textured look. So I'm just making sure everything's getting hit with ink. But now I'm just going to go pat, 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 pat over everything. And then I need to go find the, um, <laughs> I'm working really fast because, um, this is such a big thing. And I know Sarah, when she first presented, she said, uh, it doesn't matter if you get that over inking on the edges because it won't touch the paper, but sometimes it does anyway. So just be careful with that. I just don't have the bandwidth to take care of that. Plus everything else. Um, not bad, not wonderful in some areas. So let's make sure that's tucked in there and we will do it again. Again, this is a... Actually, isn't this pigment ink? I'll have to look at that. Oh no, it's a water-based ink. It's memento. So, you know, pigment inks will hold on better. I'm sure metallic inks will do a good job because they also really grip. But this is the one I grabbed. Oopsie. Look at me. Crazy girl. There we go. That, I can already tell, looks a lot more brown. Nice firm pressure. I'm not pushing them super, super hard. Again, these are acrylics, so they're kind of softer anyway. Uh, pretty good. Again, still missing there, there, and there. So, and then even much over here. The CH on much. I'm trying to see. Oh, you know what? I think the stamp itself on much has a little issue. So let me try to push this down again. Just in there, just in here, just in that one. I think the C... Yeah, it doesn't look super great. <laughs> Love is missing something. Ugh, I don't want to do it a third time, but I guess we're going to try it a third time. Just gives you more options of maybe messing it up, you know what I'm saying? Like where, oh, I didn't quite uh, have it lined up right. So let's make sure that's tucked in over there. I'm going to put this down very carefully before I push down. Really, I want that one, this one, and this one. Love had some issues. <laughs> okay, so... Mm, see, something's up here. Like, the M is still missing. That looks a little better. 
and then the much is a little bit better too. There's just little spots here and there that are just like missing, you know? Anyway, I mean, <laughs> the one I want to use is the thank and it's missing a little bit on the K and then that little curly Q on the T. Try to really focus on those things on like the much. See? Okay, so we got the K going with that little curly Q. I feel like you really have to focus on each and every one of these guys. Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to go and just rinse this off. And I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll put this back on the carrier in just a minute. And I guess I'll just open this up. Get this guy. Put that back. I think my son's waking up. I can hear someone. Sounds like a bear. Okay. Now, let's put this away. And for this one, it is, let's see, one, two, three. That's how I can tell, like, which one, how many X's. So it has three little X's. It's this one. This one has four X's, and that's how I look at it. Other than, you know, maybe you can make out the shapes or whatever. So, let's get this guy. And, again, you're lining up the X's. Lining up the X's. <laughs> Let's not do that. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see here. There's that. I'm just making them nice. Very interesting, guys. <laughs> you saw I pretty much stamped like right on this piece of paper. I'm going to show you something. Um, I mean, dead center is what I would think is dead center. Um, I'm telling you. Guys, I try to give these things the best shot, but it's like I can only do so much, you know? <laughs> Check this out. It's going to cut off that little circle. Do you see that? Just that last one. I pretty much lined it up, though. So if you're doing this, just make sure it's right on the edge over here, I guess. Because that's weird. I thought it was perfectly lined up. <laughs> and we're going to miss a little something there. Um, okay, well, I'm going to run this through. Let me see. Does this fit on my spell binders? It does. Okay, I'm going to run this through my Platinum 6, and I'll be right back. Let's see. So for today, I want to thank, but it does have a little tag. I don't know, um, but maybe I'll use something else. So again, we have all these. Of course, they're not perfect. I live, laugh, I guess love, which is interesting. Um, make my day, like you make my day, especially for you. Maybe that one. Maybe we'll use that. Okay. Well, there they are. And then here's this one. Let me see. Yeah, I cut off the very bottom. Eh. Anyway, okay, I'll be back. Is still here. What we're going to do is, I'm going to take, sorry, two of these. They give you, I think, six of each because obviously if you're decoupaging and doing all this stuff. What I'm going to do is have a base piece, and then from there I'm going to build up these other pieces. Now, I was just going to cut them all from this one piece and just layer them up, but if you... Because I'm going to do something a little bit different. But if you want to do decoupage and not see behind it and see that there's like a gaping hole or that something's missing, you're going to have to take as many pieces as you have die cuts. But for today, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Like I said, I might have to make my own card base because these are 4 by 6 As you can see, this is pretty much right there. And I don't really want to cut off a lot of it. So let me see. Again, this is actually they're 4 and 8 by uh, 5 and 7 eighths. Um... Trying to think how I want to do. standardize that. Cut this that. down to four and eighth, because sorry, four and eighth, right? Sorry, by five and three eighths, which might be weird, but that way I can put it into a standard A2 size card, and then we'll see how we get there. So five and three eighths. Let's take a little bit off the bottom. I know I don't really want to do that, but oh well. And then a little bit off the other side, just the smallest amount, like a smidge off the top. <laughs> Just to split that difference, and it's already four and eighth. So what I'm gonna do is cut down a piece of gold paper that will line with that, and then we'll just use a standard A2 size card. And then on this piece, I'm going to place this stuff. You can cut this down too if you want, but like, where is centered? That'd be like right here. So just under. I'm just trying to see, like right there. So just like under the little neck part here, something like that. And try to put it as straight as I can. Of course, I'm eyeballing this if you want to do it a different way. 
definitely do that. <laughs> so if that's there, I'm going to tape it right now so it doesn't move. And then my next layer, again, I'm taking them all off this one piece, but if you like to really decoupage like with foam adhesive, what I'm going to do is run these through some paper a couple times to make them thicker and not use foam. So they're just going to lay on top of each other anyway. Um, just a little bit different. It's like a low profile <laughs> decoupage. I'm looking at the very middle, like where they're pointing to see about if this is straight or not. <laughs> so there one goes there. Again, making sure everything is taped down so they don't move. And then the last one, right in the center here. That looks pretty good, right there. I'm going to run this through at the same time, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. This should cut. Yep. <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do is use these pieces to layer over each other. But again, since I basically cut them in frames, it's going to be a little bit different. But we're going to piece this back on here, and then the next one, the next one. But in the meantime, I'm going to take each one of these dies and run them through... Um... I guess some white paper, black paper, pink paper, whatever color you like, because we're going to layer them under there. So you shouldn't really see them, but you might see a little bit. So that's why I was thinking maybe I want a black edge. So black paper. I'm going to take some black matte or matte black paper. I'm going to run this through twice, this through twice, and this through twice. So I have two of each, okay? And I'll be back. I have all kinds of stuff here, sorry. Little mess. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is take a moment to glue these guys together. Let's see if this guy's ready to go. All right, good. So this is going to give us a little bit of thickness. It's not going to be super, super thick. This is 350 GSM paper. I'm sorry, 300 GSM. i um, thinking hunky-dory thickness, that's 350. But <laughs> this black mat is 300. So it gives a little bit of thickness. And some people do three, four, whatever, however many layers. I'm not trying to get too out there with it. And we could have put this on the other portion but there's that and I'll do the same thing with the other pieces right so nice and straight as matted as we can get that on there because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna bring this in and then just place that place the next one place the next one that's what's gonna give us some texture even though it's not super high so the next one I'll do the same thing layer these two together put this one on top and the last little bit, layer them together and put this one on top, okay? And I'll be back. We have pretty much everything. We have the layers. We have, I guess I'm going to use especially four because the think is kind of weird. I don't know. Let me see. If we have all that. Hmm. Well, maybe. I don't know how I'm going to use the U. That's my problem. <laughs> with this one. Uh, let me put it there. I was going to tie it down, which I guess we still can. So I'm going to grab some ribbon just from the Dollar Tree, some inexpensive ribbon that would go behind here. You know, it's a little bit um, like a half inch ribbon. So it gives it a little bit of texture because it's kind of like a little bit too big for the space. So maybe we can tie it down like a little bundle, huh? I'll have to do something about this though. Oh, that might be okay, because that also adds to the height of what's going on. I'm going to trim this piece of paper down to fit an A2 size card, which is, of course, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this down to four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'll be right back. So I guess what I can do to begin with is go ahead and just glue this down. Unless I want to, no, yeah. I was saying we should wrap this around that little bundle or around this. Probably around that. Okay. So let's just glue this guy down. And again, you can definitely gut this. Um, actually, I'll do that. So all that means is just taking something like this and a craft knife and cutting away a good little amount because then you can use it later for something else, leaving yourself a good edge. So I'll just do that and go around all four sides and I'll be right back. So just whatever pops out, we can use this. We can even use this for the word you later, right? Because I said I wanted to do that gold. So worth saving um okay i was like where happened to this thing let's put that back 
And let's put that over here. And let's just glue down this little frame bit, I suppose. And I'm going to glue a little bit further in just so that if the glue ends up warping my metallic paper, you're not going to see it too much. So it's a little bit more on the inside. Like that. Okay. So this is what I mean. I don't know if you can see the glue kind of does something to the paper sometimes. It just depends on how much water is in the glue that you're using. And this is just a craft glue, so it's uh, a little bit different to work with. Okay, and then these guys, like I said, I'm just going to glue them one on top of the other. And it gives it just a little bit of uh, movement. Now, if you want to use foam pads, then go for it. You want to, like I said, cut more of them than just the few that I cut. Go for it. You want to offset them a little bit so you can see even more. You can definitely do that. But I think with the black edge, it really makes it pop. And then this guy. I'm not going to stick this guy down yet because I think I'm going to put this across the whole thing, right? So let's put that down. And also glue this in. Just like a puzzle, I'm just kind of putting them back. So you see it has some texture. It has a different look, right? And then, <clears throat> I think I'm going to glue that directly on here too. Of course, it needs to be nice and center. And then this guy will be here, and then the U or whatever. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, I'm just not gluing it down quite yet. And I really need this to be like... Perfect, perfect. And the spot that it's in right there, right there. I just kind of started eyeballing where it was, where this label is. Sorry guys, I'm too far up. And then just went from there, kind of making sure everything is pretty much hitting where it should be. Maybe a little bit more this way, yep. Looks good, looks good. Okay, I'm going to hold this down flat. Well, I'm going to place this on here, something with a little bit of weight. Um, that's not very much weight, but a little bit. Uh, let's get those dies and cut out the word U and see what that looks like, because I'm over here planning a card without even knowing really how big this is or <laughs> where that might go. It's quite large. Um, see that? See how the glue just bleh, totally bent that. So just be careful. A lot of times, excuse me. Oh my goodness, I was in my throat. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll wipe the glue away. Like let's say you put some glue down, and then you kind of just wipe a little bit of off, so it's less glue, you know, less water content to kind of come through. Okay, well I'm just gonna run this through right quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have our word U here. It's very pretty. And then, um, you know, what I want to show you guys. I probably could just fire up my hot glue gun because, like I said, this is ribbon. Obviously, is too wide for this, but because um, you can see it behind there, which isn't the biggest deal. But <laughs> I was like, what if I have something to tie it with? Look at this little green piece of metal I have here from not cleaning up the other day after I did some other video. What if I just take that and kind of twist it in here just to pinch it down? You know. So I'm gonna take a moment to get that kind of in there help us hold that and see how that looks yep that works and it'll be back there and actually gives it a little bit of a lift so that's good <laughs> all right well that works out for us i'll flatten it out just a little bit and then this thing i want it to be kind of looking like that like puckered on both sides evenly okay oh <laughs> i grabbed this whole thing and i was like where's my here it is okay how close are we because i don't want to so if we have that, we have this, we have this that so we're going to pop in here, glue down. I feel like I still need my hot glue gun, I don't know, especially for you. I don't know. Oh, well, that's what we're going to go with because I don't know what else to do with that. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay. So let me tuck this out of the way completely. What can I use of this? No, not this. Well, maybe. I also don't want to hurt this, obviously. My scoring tool. Okay. Something like that. And it has to be nice and taut. That's kind of why I want to use hot glue. And what else we can do is just turn this over. Not worry about it. And put... Okay. <laughs> That's just like a ton of ATG. We're going to put it right down the center-ish. We'll 
We'll fix that. I'm pulling that as tight as I can. Just so that the other thing stays down nicely. Okay. And we can arrange this a little better when we're done there. I need to get this down so that it stays down, you know. All right. So um, I'm trying to think if I want to use ATG. No. I'm just going to use a glue and actually just hold it for a while. You want something that's really going to hold this down, obviously. Okay, I'm going to hold that down for a good while. And then we'll add our U. Yeah, I think put the U off to the side a little bit. You know me, I always like to do a little something different. But what I'm going to do is, on this part here, is give it a little bit of foam. And I mean the smallest amount of foam because <laughs> it's a very small area. That looks good. I think that's placed okay. I would put another one there, but ooh, that's a little bit dangerous. Let me put a little bit. I have to cut that. Just a little bit more to help out. The smallest amount here. There we go. And then the rest of it, I think, will just glue, even though there's going to be a little gap right here, probably. So, this is um, art glitter glue. And again, I'm going to place it on here, but I'm also going to just like dab, dab, dab some of that away. And let's put this here. Again, the U is holding itself up, and then those things. So I'm going to hold this down for a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so that's what I came up with today. Um, you know, trying out some different things, the little hunky-dory items, yeah, especially for you. Really cute there. And then again, that dimension that's not really dimension. I mean, that's pretty flat. So you can send that off pretty easily, <laughs> holding that uh, U up there. And, you know, you know, you want to add some pearls and all that kind of cute stuff. But I think that is plenty going on. And then we still have all these. Of course, they're not like this one's to be junked. <laughs> this one it's a little bit hard. The E is not quite complete. This is kind of what I saw the first time too at the first set. I mean it's missing. Of course you can take a marker or whatever else you have that might be brown or whatever color ink you're using and finish it off. Or really concentrate on each and every stamp, you know, like I'll probably keep that. That's fine. Um, but, you know, it's just not the, the most perfect uh, impression there. That one's not too bad, but it is missing some. All right, guys. Well, uh, I'll have some images coming up. I'll have links in the description box of what might be available. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now.